going to give you a bit of a look today at our 2022 Jayco Journey Outback. Previously had a journey but it wasn't an Outback so we sold it. It was a 2016. We really loved that caravan but unfortunately it wasn't didn't have the independent suspension and it wasn't an Outback. So we sold that along with our Patriot camper and we wanted to mix the two. So the only thing I didn't like about the Patriot was that we didn't have an ensuite and I really like having a, a shower and a toilet. So call me a little bit fussy but as you get a little bit older a few little luxuries are quite nice to have when you're camping. Um, I mean we've done all the camping and tents and digging holes and all that sort of stuff and you just don't want to do it anymore. So we wanted something that was cross between our camper and our other caravan so we decided to go for a single axle because hubby thought it was easier to tow well it was much easier to tow regardless of what a lot of people say I mean that's our opinion um, and it does sit on the road beautifully even myself as the passenger in the car I can feel the difference with the pull with the caravan and the bouncing and yeah, this is just so much. You don't even realize that this is on the back of the car. But anyway, we decided to go with brand new because we've never really had anything brand new. So build it all out, um, ordered it, built it ourselves. Are we happy with it? We'll let you know. We've only used it a few times. We have, we did pick it up in July this year. Um, work commitments we couldn't get out and away for a few months we did one or two overnight trips with it but in generally mm, yeah we're happy it's Jayco everybody knows about Jayco's I mean yeah anyway we'll get into it yes we are happy with it but it has had its little issues that we've been able to fix ourselves um, hubby's very handy which makes a huge difference and um, yeah so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you around I'm going to show you inside and out I'll show you where where I keep everything what we actually purchased as a base caravan and what we've added on we did spend eight thousand dollars extra on extras for things that we want to make it more livable while we're off grid and as you can see at the moment we're here at Kilkeven Bush Camp and we're down in the unpowered at the moment so yeah it's really quite nice I'll show you around that a bit later we've had the cows up here this morning having a bit of a an eat anyway I'm going to quick look around the outside and I'll take you inside and show you around there. Hey, how are you going? I'm all right. Good. <laughs> what are you going to do today? I don't know. We've got a Jayco. I want to tell you a bit about it. All right. What all sort right. of Jayco is it? It's an Outback 16 footer. 16 point. Something or other. Look at below. We'll find mm. out for you. 16.6 <laughs> yeah, we'll... something over there. Mm. Anywho. Um, all right. Yeah. Show us what you've got, old mate. Righto. No, no, no. <laughs> Settle. <laughs> Righto. All right. A DA35 hitch on the front under this bag. Do I have to take it off? Yes. He's going to have to put his beer down, unfortunately. Okay. Navigator bag works a treat. Yes, yes. DA35. Yep. DA35. Yep. Top little hitch. Had it on the other camper trailer. Um, and yeah, easy to hitch up, does the job. So what does this do? It covers all our gear. It covers the hitch, all the plugs, all that stuff. So it keeps the weather off it and hopefully that's a good thing. Yep, good bit of gear. Yep, that'll do. Um, yep, you've got to put something over it. A lot of people put different things over it, so whatever works, it okay. seems to work. Um, yeah, it's not too okay. bad. And so, what got, else have you got to show us? Stone guard. Oh, and that's this thing here? Yes, yes, it is. 
Okay, do you want to tell us all about it? I'm not sure who it's made by, but I'm sure you can find out and then put it down below. Yep, I will. Awesome. I can't remember. It just come in a box. Yeah. I just had to fit it. Okay, cool. <laughs> and I changed the mud flaps. Okay. So I went to Maxi Parts, bought some decent mud flaps because the ones that were on it were just flapping in the breeze. Um, so these ones hang down and do the job they're supposed to do. Heaps better. I want to know. Yeah. Oh, we bought some King's bags. Um, pretty cheap. Well, just put it out there. He's not a fan of the King's products. But no, no, they good. are doing, they do okay um, wheel bags. No, they're wheel, good. They well, are good. Well, we found because we've got such a small tunnel boot at the front um, and there's not a lot of room to put stuff on that we've had to compromise and just put a couple of bags on and pretty much all I've done to secure the bags is I've taken the straps off, cut the straps off the King's bag and um, made up some um, marine ply to um, fold it to the top and also in the bottom of the bag um, I've just put in a piece of board in the bottom and there's also marine ply down the bottom there to keep the bag to the bottom part of the stone guard and that holds little stuff, stools, chairs, hoses, uh, extension lead, um, what else have we got in here? Let's go ahead to the other side and we'll have a quick squeeze. I can't remember. Oh yeah, so I've got the barbecue arm hoses there yeah. and extension lead. So yeah, pretty much just throw all that stuff in there. It's not too heavy, so it's not too weighty on your on your um, stone guard. So it's probably only a few kilos, if that. So um, it takes up, you know, no room and gives you a little bit of extra extra space. Um, and what else we got? Oh yeah, got the um, somewhere to put the weather, which we couldn't find apart from in the caravan which was also a bit of a pain um, every time you want to get in or out you've got to stand over the top of the weather so I just um, made this one up it's you know, do you want me to take it, take it off have a quick yeah, look tell oh. everybody what it's about oh it's easy peasy just held on by it off your strap I'm sure <sighs> Oh, you put bags of files on or something like that. And yeah, just get the Weber out. And yeah, it's just a rack made up. Um, basically, just stuff left around the house, which happened to be an old, um, of an old Toyota Hilux tray. I think it was the backboard to it. So I just used a bit of the frame off that. Um, it's not welded, so it shouldn't be too, too hard. If it needs to come off, it can come off. Choose them down. <laughs> oh, yeah, photo bomb. How good. <laughs> so, so there's always somebody. Yeah. So you can um yeah put some firewood on it if you want to, but yeah, it also can come off. So if the next person who buys a van doesn't like it, they can take it off. It's just bolt on. Um. So yeah, it's all good. Didn't want to weld anything because no doubt you'd need some sort of um mod plate or engineer certificate to change anything apart from factory so we just left it and just used it as a bolt on and then yeah, obviously the gas bottles at the front which yep easily we all know what a gas yeah. bottle looks like oh, i think everyone probably knows don't they i guess so yeah. need to show them? no it's all no it's all right everybody yeah. knows what a gas bottle yep. looks like and put a couple of mud flaps underneath as well yeah um just in the middle so yeah, this can't is stop the stone reflection. Yeah, yeah, everything helps. I want to do it, right? Mm. So yeah, that's all good. What else have you got there? Oh, look at that. We've got a barbecue arm. Okay. Um, keep, keep that alloy plate from the barbecue arm in the bag. Yep. Oh, yeah, we've got an escapee. Yes, yes. <laughs> I was just trying to get out. Escape. Back in the bag. Okay. In there. Right. Easy peasy, just throw that on. It's got a, uh, a small um, wing nut there just to help tighten it up, but yeah, takes up no no space and um, ideal for the weather. Yeah, it'll just drop down and then snip it up. There you go. Yep, set the weather on or whatever you want and you can move that around obviously. 
Good spots. Um, and yeah, it works a treat. And it's then, just attached to the yep, rubber. Yep, and it, once again, it's a bolt-on thing where you can just take it off. No dramas. And, yeah, um, barbecue up. I think we paid about 300 and something. I'm not sure. I can't remember. I will find out. It doesn't take out. as much room as what a table does. No. So, it takes up no room. Um, yeah. Convenient. Oh, yeah. Works treat. So that's all the front. I've got to screw this back in, otherwise I'll forget that I've screwed it out. And we'll drive down mm -hmm. a few k's down the road. And I'll lose the bolt. Two gauge. Right. Okay, moving along a bit further. We've got the tunnel boot on the uh, inside. As you can see, it's pretty small. Um, it's kind of oh, it has a light. Yes, so we've got a light in there. Uh, yep, got the light. Yep, the oh, the soft blue light. If that's what tickles your fancy. Fit a couple of chairs in there, um, muck mat, possibly. That's about it. It's just a pity the opening wasn't a little bit bigger because the space inside is actually bigger than the door. So it's a, just a pity they didn't make that door just a fraction bigger. It probably would help out a bit. Bit of Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, put some small stuff. What else we put in there? Toilet cartridge, um, spare one. Um, muck mat. I put all my stuff in there, like um, just a couple of boxes which are around the other side. So we'll get to that when we head around the other side. But other than that, still a couple of fold up chairs in there. It's the first thing you grab when we get out, so she's all good. And we've got the awning. I think it's 14 foot, I think it is, on the 16 foot band, so yeah, it's not a bad size. Um, yeah, probably just get the side walls. Yep, keep a bit of the weather out, but it's a Solera, I think it is. Solera awning. There's a tag somewhere. No, yeah, not there. There it is. Ta da! Ta da! Um, yeah, no problems with it so far. LED lights work. Um, yep, it hasn't yep, let us down. We've probably used it a few times now, haven't we? So, um, not too shabby. Uh, of course, we've got an added extra. Yep. Uh, on the van when we bought it, which was the picnic table. Yep. Um, yeah, it folds down. And, yep, as you can see, it's got the little Barbie on there. Um, whatever you want to put on, seems to carry a little bit of weight. I don't know how much you're supposed to put on it, but she's all good for basic stuff. Um, and yep, very handy. Action oh. pack, cool. Okay. And uh, you've got a, obviously your hand, grab handle for the door, and that comes with your light at night if you need it on and off. Um, yep. And put 12 volt plug there. The spare 240, and obviously your aerial if you want to put a TV out there, and that's a wheel. So we went for the single, not a single axle, independent suspension um, from JCO, I think it's called JTEC, um, and yeah, works a treat. And I like towing with a single axle, heaps better than towing with a dual. Um, it seems to handle really well. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, and yeah, obviously you've got your step up into the van, it's yeah. quite high, but it's easy to pull in, uh, yep. quite, quite heavy, and pull it straight pull out. It. There we go. And we easy. have, because the van's quite high, we have the little navigator step, plus we have the muck mat to get in and out of the van. Which helps when you're on the gravel pit. Yes, well, unfortunately at Inbook here on our weekend we're in this gravel pit anyway. <laughs> We didn't bring the C3 gear mat, so... The suspension, I think, is good. I've, all you do is pretty much just get under there with a grease gun. It's got a couple of grease nipples underneath it, so just do that um, regularly. Okay. Toilet cartridge, and nobody wants to see it, because everyone knows what it is. Correct. Okay, and then you've got your outlet, or your plug-in from your 240, and then you've got your uh, isolator switch. I think that's the correct... Terminology. Uh, yep, and you've got your gas for your fridge, and you've got your vents for your fridge, top and bottom. Um, this is an experiment at the moment. I've just got some 10 mil, um, uh, it's like Water. air filter foam, and all I've done is I've velcroed to the vent and also to the foam 
and it's just an experiment to see if it lasts on this trip and hasn't come off, which it hasn't, it's been all up the highway and back um, for our big trip coming up when we've got plenty of dust. So if this one works all right so far, it hasn't blown off in the wind, um, I'll do that to the rest of them. So I'll put them all up top and around the other side. But at the moment, it's held up a treat. So yeah, a 10 mil foam off eBay. Uh, it's just air filter foam. You don't have to oil it up or do anything like that because we don't want any dust to stick to it. Um, but yeah, hopefully that'll be better than nothing at all. That's our $20 dust reduction system. Well, the dust reduction system is nice, mate. but <laughs> we'd also like the, like the light as well. So it's good to have the hatch open and let the air in. So I don't want to sacrifice that just to put uh, a reduction system in. And this is what we've come up with. Unless I can put it in a different spot mm. and keep the actual, um, you know, the air skylight as well. But anyway, we'll just stick with it and move them right along. I think you've got your water. So we'll I'll, know what that does. I should probably get the key and open that up, shouldn't mm. I? <laughs> it's just a filler. Right, I think everybody knows what they are. That's it. Just fill up your two tanks. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And hang your hose out there if you're on on mains. So yep, just a little flap there that opens up and then you can just hook your hose in. She's all good. And then here, of course, you've got your gas hot water, which is continuous, I believe, isn't it? It's not like the other one we had where you had to wait for it to heat up 20 litres. This is all continuous. Uh, just flip the switch and yep, she's pretty good. No dramas with it yet, so she's good to go. Happy days. And got the other side of the hatch, obviously. It's a tunnel boot. And that's just got a few bits and pieces in it. Let's pull it out. And I've got, hang on, I've got to put your beard in. Oh, two seconds. Pull this out. And so, yeah, got stuff in there. Jack, a few things, and then, yeah. It comes with a, the hook so you can get a few bags in there or a few things and just pull them out. But once again, you deal with what you got and yeah, it's, it holds a bit of stuff. But yeah, I'm guessing the bigger your boot, the more stuff you're going to cram in it. So she's all good there. That's why I've got the bags at the front. It helps out with all the bulky stuff. So uh, it's a treat. And tap at the front, obviously. So you can use that off grid or whatever. Just um, Turn the pump on, away she goes, or you can use it on mains. Alright then, on the windows, yeah, double thick. Um, really good for sound. So, awesome, like them. Made by Dometic? Made by Dometic, that's it. Yes. And um, on the roof, two 180 solar panels. And, yep, fantastic. Charges up lithium batteries, no dramas. Um, even using the inverter. So, yep, we've had um, no dramas at all with keeping the um, charge. That's fantastic. And what have you got underneath your van, old mate? Uh, Do you want to talk about water what? tanks? Yeah, Check how many? Tanks. Two? I think they're 80 or 90 litres, but you can always check below just to make sure. Mm. And we've got a, um, oh, what's the other tank called? Grey water yeah, that's tank. It. Grey water tank. That's it. And that's also the same, I think. Is it yeah. 80 litres or 60? Uh, 60 litres, 60 litres. I do you believe, yeah. that was put on when we built the van yeah, with Jacob. Yeah, it's a bit of an added extra for some of the places now, especially in national parks, so you get a bit, um, a bit, you know, not all fussed on you doing stuff with, um, without doing a grey water tank on it, so, yeah, you've got to catch your own water, so that's the game. But, um, all in all, pretty happy. A few hey. little mishaps, yes or no? Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, a few little things you just fix up on the way, but nothing, you know, nothing major. Everything structurally seems good, so and we've had it over a, a few spots and we're now. Yep. A few rough roads and, yep. um, yep, and no dramas with it yet. We'll probably do another review on it later on down the track, eh? Yes, we will. Yeah, but um, at the moment, yeah. I did reseal up under here, though. So there's a few gaps up under, under here, under the wheel arches here, where I've just got some extra sealer. Um, and placed it up around here. I don't know if any dust can get in, but I thought I'd rather just um, get in there and reseal it anyway, just to make sure. We'll let you know how the dust goes when we go on our big trip in three weeks' time. We'll be going over a few dusty roads. Mm.
Are you in there or what? Hello. Oh, look, there's Olaf. <laughs> Come on in and I'll show you around. <laughs> Don't get too close. Ah, uh, that's all good. Okay, Righto. so what we're going to do is show you around the inside of the van. We opted to go for um, the single bed layout for the simple reason that a queen size bed in a 16 foot VA, you have no space. So it's mainly for a space that we wanted to go for the single beds. But anyway, come in, show you around, go through a few things that um, we added on when we had the van built and then the things that I've actually added on myself. So anyway, come on in. Are the flies welcome in too? The flies can come too. They're very friendly here at Imbal. I think they've already jumped the gun. They're already in. <laughs> Do come in. Come on. I'm scared. <laughs> no, bring your flies in. <laughs> when we had the van built, we had we this cupboard here had no shelves in it. It just came empty, like bare. So we added two extra shelves in to put clothes in. I think it came to about $100 with Jayco. Then down here, you've got another space. Okay, so this has just got a drawer in it. We won't have a look in there because it's my underwear. <laughs> this here is just, I've put a tub in there and it's just got all swimwear and tablets and all sorts of stuff. So believe it or not, Believe it or not, in a van that's so small, that storage is quite large. So I keep most of my stuff in there, and I'll make keeps most of his stuff in these two drawers, in these two here. When we bought this van, we opted for single beds. Um, we didn't want to get one with a queen size bed, as wonderful as that would be, because if you look down here on the floor, you don't you lose all this floor space because the bed comes out to here and there's your door there so you don't really have the space so this bed is probably a foot shorter than a normal bed and when I first slept in it um, my feet we got the van in July so it was winter my feet would be hanging out here and by all means I'm not tall but I just couldn't keep my feet warm. So I thought, how do you resolve this problem when I've put a bolster in it? So at night, at night, I put this down the back. And it gives me that much more space to, and on my feet don't hang out the ends. And then of a day, I just stick it back up there. It's very similar to um, a queen size, queen size bed. So yeah, I, I just that was the only thing I could think of to combat the shortness, which we didn't know when we till we picked the van up. So, but it works. But the only problem is at night, you're going to lose. You lose about that much space out of your doorway here. So it comes out, I would say, roughly to here. This, But it still gives you enough room to walk around. But anyway, it works. I've got a full-length bed. This is a full-length bed, this one here. So, and it only cost me $30 at Park Rubber. Always losing our keys when we're at camping. We've put in a key rack from Bunnings. I guess everybody's got a key rack, <laughs> but it helps. We keep caravan keys there. Don't lose anything. Down near the door here, we got from Matt of the Explore Life a dash mat, and we keep all the things that you need handy: sunscreen, Bushmans, and maps to wherever we're staying. Also, you have your wind guard, I think it's called, TV, aerial, comes standard with every Jayco. Then we've got the hatch, um, that's where your dust reduction system 
goes. I don't want to lose the air. But, yep, it just, I'm a little bit short, but I can still manage to get it. So it just clips in like that. And I have it right open because it's the middle of summer. And then you've got this for night time. Cuts the light out. But I prefer to have that than the dust reduction system. Um, it's got Dematic air conditioner. Yeah. Dematic air conditioner works a treat. It has two lights either side. Vents cools the van down beautifully. Um, we've only used it once, I think. I like open windows. I'm really not a fan of air conditioning, but maybe if I was right up north Queensland, it might be different. But anyway, um, moving along. Moving along. Sink. Um, I can't find a dish rack that I like at the moment, so I just use a nice thick tea towel to stop the scratches. Up here, I keep Tupperware, some big bowls, wraps, stuff like that. Next cupboard, I keep getting it going regularly. Um, sandwich bags, coffee, cups, there's all sorts of glad wrap and stuff up the back. And here we have fusion locks. Keep our Yetis in here, doesn't move. Fabulous. Um, dishwashing detergent, hand sanitizer, what we need these days. Down here we have food. But also down the bottom I have all other bits and pieces. Kettle. Um, oh, what do you call that? Glad wrap foil. I keep some of that down there too, pot holders. I have all of our glad bags. Also along here, I have a rack and sits these baskets on it. So it keeps, gives you more space under the racks to store stuff. Because we have such a, van, a small van, you have to be very creative when it comes to storage. And I'm constantly moving stuff around, buying little things and trying different things um, because our other van was a little bit bigger and I like to take everything from home. I don't like to leave anything behind. So I have to get very creative. Okay. Oh, and here we have a toilet, uh, not a toilet roll. It's a paper towel holder. Wow. <laughs> So, yeah, I got sick of old mate coming in all the time, digging through my cupboards. 12 bucks off Amazon. Okay, I'll give you a rundown on the drawers. This one here, because it's under the sink, doesn't have much. Just highlighters, little baby plugs and stuff. This one here is just our knives and forks. Emergency lighting, if you need it, always keep a little torch in there. Now, this here is our, where we keep our plates and cups. Now, I'm not a fan of eating on plastic, bamboo dining settings or anything else that's out there. We like Corelli and the proper. So, this is how I've got it packed to travel. The plates are all in there, very snug. These little plates are sitting here on top of the non-slip mat. And it has no issues. Um, big bowls for pasta, which were extra on top of the Corelli and the bowls. Now, we use table um, tea towels when we go, so these are our cups. I keep a little bit of rubber backing in between. These can rattle around, and we've been on dirt roads, and look, we've had no problems. So I, I personally don't like drinking out of Elwyn plastics. So I prefer proper dinner set. But anyway, that's just me. Which to their own. Down here is just a junk cupboard. Food. Marshmallows for the campfire. Packet rice. Which is easy. Which we put in the microwave. So we've got the inverter. Up here, 
I keep uh, tea towels, hand towels. I do carry a lot because I use a lot of tea towels for covering food and I use them in the car for wiping our hands and stuff. I know I've probably got too many. This is our swimming towels. Keep them nice and handy. Uh, another fusion lock thing, but it wouldn't stick um, to this laminate. So hubby has drilled some arms up there to keep them in. Just down essentials, tea, sugar, salt and pepper. That doesn't move, that's for sure. Okay, another thing that we had um, is the shower enclosure added on. Um, we had a 2016 Jayco and they came standard. When I was looking on the website, Jayco actually have across here a curtain. I didn't want a curtain because it's right next to the stove. So I rang my guy in Jaco Mackay and I said, this is what we had in our old van, this, this particular thing here. And he said, yes, we could add it on. I'll show you. And if you've got an old Jaco, you'll know. I mean, yes, it does look like an add-on, but it's the prop, same material as what the pop top is. So that there just, that Velcro bit comes down when you're having a shower uh, you can tip it up if you want and it's just fully enclosed from the water to me um, having the stove there in such a small van it made sense uh, I think it was $300 as an add-on extra as you know storage is really quite bad in these caravans so when we go to bed at night we want to put our phones and glasses somewhere. This is not very big. Jumped online and I found these little pouches. And they're just enough to put phone, glasses, and we keep our little emergency torch in there. Because you don't really want to jump up in the middle of the night. If someone's asleep, if your partner's asleep, and put a big light on. So we both keep a torch in our little pouches. Yeah, I think I paid for them little ones. They're from Drop Bear Storage. $35, I think, from memory. Not expensive at all. And you can get different colours to match your van. Highly recommend them. They're great. I'm actually going to get two more to put here um, for our iPad. Uh, a drop bear are uh, a little Australian company and I love supporting little Australian companies. Um, little one, two man shows that make some great products. Check them out if you want some um, storage pockets. So here we have the hot water service. That's the Insta hot water. I won't turn it on. 
Here we have the isolator switch and the water pump for off grid, air conditioning, um, TV remote, 12 volt for the TV. We've bought a new cord for that. You've got charging for your phones, two phones and 240. I've put a hook in there to hold our head torches in case you need to go outside in the dark. And then I've got two macrame bags as everybody has seen these before. I have fruit in this side and I keep onions in this side because everybody knows you shouldn't put your onions in with your fruit. One more added extra that we had put on when we had the van was the shower curtains. It's this thing up here. Well, I don't know if you'd call it a curtain, but Jayco actually changed the divider here. Our 2016 had the shower, what do you call this thing? The shower divider. So as of 2021, they changed it to a, a curtain. And we didn't like that because our 2016 had the this vinyl divider. It did cost us $400 extra, I think. But we didn't like the idea of a curtain that sat along here and dangled. I just, I just didn't like it. And after having an older model Jayco, we liked the idea of this. But you can get it as a spare part and add it on as an extra. But as I said, I'm positive we paid three, maybe 300, not 400, not quite 400. But yes, that was a definite must for us. I do believe it is getting harder to do if you request it. It just depends on your salesman but we had a pretty good salesman at Mackay because um, we, we went through the dealership at Jack and Mackay. But yeah, I mean, some people like it. We don't. I prefer this much better. Keeps all the water out. Um, yeah, very happy with that as an added extra. If you're like me, I love my coffee. I have one cup a day and when I have my cup, I like it to be good. So... We opted to put a 3,000 watt inverter in the caravan. Is it too much? Dunno. No, not really. So I thought if I got the 2,000 watt and I wanted to run something and drain the batteries, and I'd regret it. So we went for the 3,000 watt inverter. Now this morning, I ran toaster and the milk frother both of these items and it drew no power whatsoever on the batteries everybody says run one item at a time but because we've got a 3000 watt inverter it was wasn't even a scratch i think it used two bars off it so but anyway i will show you what we've got under the seat we've got two 120 amp lithium batteries and we've got the iTech World 3000 watt inverter so and we have had out of everything in this caravan we cannot fault the inverter and the off-grid power system that we've got I think we used we used the coffee machine the toaster and the frother and we used it all twice this morning and it uses like 2% of the battery and that's just nothing. And within the next hour, the sun has powered up the batteries to 100% again. Okay, so this is the heart of the caravan down here, our electrical system. Um, when we built the caravan, we only had, I think uh, Jayco only sell with an AGM, but we decided to upgrade to the lithium and then we thought nah why not just go the extra one um, we don't want to be stuck without power um, I do believe two is better than one so um, we've opted for two 120 amp lithium severe batteries and yes we purchased them as an add-on extra when we built the van with Jayco
Anyway, have a bit of a look. So down here, we've got the two spheres. They were fitted at the factory when we built the van. And then um, after we've picked the van up, we've installed the iTech World 3000 watt inverter. And my God, we just can't fold it. It's fantastic. Um, did an absolute, it just does an amazing job. So we don't have to worry about power. We don't have to worry about running any appliances. We can run anything that we, that we want. It does a fabulous job. Down here is the remote control for it. So I'll turn it on for you and have a look. So that's just powering on. So that there's your load so that we don't have anything coming through the inverter at the moment. But if I plugged in, say, the toaster, it would get three bars. Now, this morning, I had the toaster and the milk frother, and it was up to four bars. So, and that there is our battery capacity down the bottom. So we're full because it's the middle of the day. So, yeah, I mean, we are so happy with the iTech World 3000 watt on our van and the 3000 watt does a fabulous job i also can run the air fryer toast toasted sandwich makers hair dryers hair straighteners um anything do you want to speak <laughs> really. okay so this is the other heart of the van which is the bms which stands for bloody mess Stands for what? No. Oh, <laughs> a massive wires. Oh, okay. Yep. So that's it. The belly of the, the van's under the seat. You sit on it. Isn't that right? Yep. Okay. Some of the things that we're not happy with, I'll just show you. Yes, every van has their problems. Um, we have had a few minor hit mishaps with this van, but we're overly, in general, we're happy with it. But I will show you what has happened to us in the last six months, and it's no big deal. It's all things that we can fix. So this is when it comes down to um, good workmanship. So our van is six months old. And this has already come off. No big deal. We'll glue it up. We're not going to ring up Jayco and say we want it under warranty. This here, the one that Jayco installed was terrible. So we went to Jayco and we've replaced it. The cord used to constantly fall out. Thought, our thoughts on the Jayco Journey Outback. What do you think? We're happy with it to an extent. <laughs> you can't do that. You're lying. <laughs> You're not lying. You're lying. Because you, you are happy with You're happy with the way it toes? I'm happy with the way it toes, yes. All right, don't scratch your head. Now say, okay, our thoughts on the JK Journey Outback. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I put up with every day. I, I am happy with the way it toes. Yes. I like it's the way it good. toes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it's small and compact. Yep. For a couple. Nice and light towing it behind just a dual cab. Yep. So that's pretty good. Yes. So we only have a dual cab. We don't have a Land Cruiser or a Patrol. I like the fact that the pop top is nice and dark when you inside. Yes. So you want to sleep in. It's not all lit up like some of the material in the other vans, pop tops, you can actually see right through. Yep, yep. So it's pretty good like that. Yep. It's good blackout. In the high some of the hybrids we looked at mm. had you can see the see sun. through in the material. Mm. Yep. So that's really good. Air conditioning. I don't know, we've never used it. We haven't used it. We're gonna to have to get <laughs> somewhere and use it. We just open the window. Yes, that's it. And we do top. like fresh air. Mm. I'm, we like the outdoors, we like the fresh air. I hope it works. Well, yes, we hope. <laughs> we better try it out soon. Um, we're not going to lie, we've had a few little teething issues with it, as do most vans. Mm. But we haven't had to take it back for warranty. It's just little things that we've had to fix ourselves. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Um, it's a Jayco. Yep. Um, 
I, no, they're not bad, but their quality control could be a little bit better. Yeah, maybe the earlier ones. Oh, the earlier Jayco's. We had 2016. That was that good. Was, we yeah. really like that. Yep. Um, as of 2020, when COVID hit and they were just pumping vans flat out through the factory, mm. the quality's just slipped a little bit. But it's Mo minor. It's, yeah, it's only just attention to detail in a few areas. But exactly. It's, it's That's all it is. But Overall, it's pretty good. It's nothing yeah. that can't keep you from going camping or going off-road. Yep. Um, I would definitely still take it anywhere in Australia. I mean, we haven't yet because we've only just started to use it. But in six months, we'll do another review on, on everything we've done to the van, as in extras, mm. if they're still working. Mm. We're very, very happy with the solar panels and the inverter mm. and just to give us the comforts of home, coffee yeah. and... Yep, that extra make, solar panel works well. Yeah. So what's that, 360? Yep, 360 on the roof. 360 on the roof and we don't really need to put out the other extra add-on solar panel. No. The portable one. We have done, but... Hmm. It seems to be keeping up pretty well with it. Yeah, the batteries, we've been using all the power. Hmm. We've still managed to keep all of the the batteries full in the hmm. van. Hmm. We're having a little bit of hiccups with the car at the moment. If you've watched our video on our car modifications. But that's just trying to understand how the DC to DC charger works in the car. And I think we've finally worked it out today. Um, what else have you got to say about the Jayco? Apart from? Well, there's not a lot of storage space in the front of it. I no, like I the older Jayco had yeah. a boot and yep. it was good. Yep. You could fit your Weber and everything yep. in it. This one you obviously can't. No, the storage um, is an issue. As, yeah. That's why we've put the extra bags and mud flaps on the front. Yep, yep. So, they're only cheapies, but they hold all the hoses and everything else, mm -hmm. um, which is good. So it's less time, put some new mud flaps on the front. I went over that, yes. Yep, so the other ones are flapping like flags at 40 k's an hour, so they're useless. Uh, but that's like not a Jayco, flags. that's not a Jayco no, thing. That's a, no, that was aftermarket. That's an aftermarket yeah, I stain protector. I can't remember the name of it, Coast to Coast well, or something it's not called. Time. Well, we don't have to give names for that. That's all yeah. but all no, there's was. nothing wrong with the stone guard, it was just the mud guard, yeah. the mud flaps. Yeah, the mud flaps were just... Yeah. Were, yeah, so I put some good truck ones on and they stay down. Yep. And they're good. And I mean, this is why we've gone to so much trouble mm. and done so much work in our car because we have so little storage in the caravan. Mm. But it is going to do what we want it to do. It is going to get us to the places we want to go to. Yeah, it's we... light, light towing for the vehicle we've got. got yeah. So yeah. that's kind of what we wanted. We don't want to be dragging something around that's heavy as mm. so this way everything's nice and light it's better on fuel um, mm. and we try and make sure that we look at the weight of everything before we put in it yeah well that's so, it I mean, a weight issue yeah so yeah. anything you can you know compromise and do something different with to make it lighter so all seems to work and the car doesn't have a problem towing so it's good so well, we've got the car set up quite good we don't know if we're going to keep this van <coughs> You're not even looking. We don't know if we're going to keep this van. We're not. We still haven't decided. Mm. At the end of the day, it's all going to come down to mm. money mm. because um, we want to retire mm. down the track. Mm. And yeah, we'll just wait and see. But, but we'll look after it the best we can. That way, it's you know, like say with these things up here. Okay. So, uh, so just for example. Jake, I'll put these little door stoppers on the top of the of the flap, okay? And what it was actually doing when I undid it, it's actually rubbing through the gel coat on the because of the vibration. So it's rubbing on the gel coat on the um, fiberglass, and if it rubs through the gel coat, and all of a sudden you start to get moisture underneath it, it's just going to delaminate, and you're going to be in all sorts of drama. So I've just put a little clear bit of decal over it and a little bit of sponge so that when these come down they're hitting on that 
and that sort of protects it. So it's all about, you know, trying to save it for when we pass it on to the next people. Do you know what I mean? Resale. So, yeah. So little things like that, you can see where it had been rubbing. So I thought I'd get to it while it was brand new and do something about it rather than waiting for the problem to get worse. Mm. So, it does. Yeah, little things like that. Mm. Um, yeah, just look after it and, yeah, it should be fine. Well, that's our... Jaco Journey Outback, 16 foot. Got any questions, hit us up. Happy to answer anything that we know. Um, anything to do with the van, any of the extras that we've had it on, any of the experiences that we've had, we're happy to share. Um, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thanks. Bye. Play the game. Yeah, well, I haven't Jack. done my hair. Your hair looks lovely. Here you go. Yes, yes, not beautiful. Okay. Absolute cut. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Yep. Okay. Maintenance. Look. Maintenance is the key. Yep. Just grease up all the nipples. <laughs> yes, grease your nipples. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. <laughs>